Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. The show brings you Major League Baseball on a Saturday night. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the Atlanta Braves. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport. Your Don Alvarez. Always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the play, defensively when he's on the bases. I and mean, this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. I move on. So almost ready to get underway. And on the hill in this one, Shane McClanahan. Chris is up three ERA for him a year ago. Well, when your numbers are coming in under three as a starting pitcher that's going out there every fourth or fifth day, taking the ball, competing against really good big league hitters, it's extremely impressive. And you wonder what he figured out last year that he can carry into this season that can help him to maintain that number or even drop it lower. We'll see, but we know he's got good stuff, and he should be really good in this one today. Xander Bogarts leading things off and takes a strike. And that one pulled foul. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Racing makes the catch. One down. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, it features a great veteran presence, Nelson Cruz. Well, he's just been a consistent and dominant power threat throughout his career. I mean, over 400 career home runs. I mean, that just doesn't happen to an average power hitter. This guy's been elite, and we'll see as he continues uh, if he's going to make it into Cooperstown, into the Hall of Fame. Jake Cronenworth, batting with one down, takes a strike. Strike two. Next pitch is popped up. Riley drifts towards it. He makes the grab, and there's two down. Well, that's a frustrating into the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Do you love the Soto shuffle? Yes, I do. I think it's a little. Uh, little flair, little flash at first, maybe uh, seen as arrogant, but I think uh, the, the talent backed it up and everybody was okay with it. The 0-2. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Padres down in order. And now the Braves with their first chance to hit were scoreless. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at the ballpark, starting on the mound in this one, Seth Lugo. Allowed 10 hits in his last start, and I know they're concerned about his mechanics. Maybe he's giving something away to the other side. Made some adjustments in between starts. Look for him to have a good one today. Bottom of the first. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Dylan Carlson. There's the strike. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. And a base hit into right center field. 
I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0 2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. And next for Atlanta, Gunnar Henderson had the day off yesterday. Here's a high chopper. One gone, bottom half of the first. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Jordan Alvarez. The batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. Jordan Alvarez circles the bases. Home run number five on the season. The Braves score first. It's 2-0. Two, two pitches, two swings, that one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. exactly the pitch he was looking for crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark here's Austin Riley entered the game as a pinch hitter last night back in the starting lineup for this one and first offering is fouled off and a pitch Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Not a swing you want to watch again. Foul ball still 0-2. Righty delivers. Just a slow ground ball this time. Throw over to Cronenworth. They get him, but it was pretty close. That's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. Two outs, base is empty. And now the right fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. There's a line drive to left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that ends the inning. Braves pick up two on the long ball. And it's two zip. Back after this on the show. And welcome back. Here's Machado. The third base well, after putting up a nice team. inning on offense, got Manny. some runs across, this Machado. is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. First yep, pitch just out. misses. Pretty great year Manny Machado had in 2022. He was the guy that really carried the Padres to the National League Championship Series, ultimately finished as the runner-up to the National League MVP, Paul Goldschmidt. Next offering is down low. And one thing I love about the defensive side of Manny Machado's game is that he makes hard plays look really easy. Just the same sort of pace about him over there on the hot corner. And tell you what, he's in the top three or four third baseman in all of baseball. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The pitch. 
On the ground to third. And that squirts through. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you gotta make them pay. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Machado on at first, nobody out. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Nelson Cruz, the next up for the Padres. Three for six in the series so far. That one's in there, 0 1. McClanahan, an all star a season ago. He features a four seam fastball, a changeup, a curve, and he works in a slider. Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. Here's a one-two. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Got him swinging on that pitch away to finish him off, but everything early in the at-bat was in tight. Really challenged him in there with some competitive pitches, not letting him get his hands extended, but of course that eventually opens up the outside part of the plate, and he just wasn't able to adjust. Now it's the second baseman, ha Sung Kim. Hitless in the series so far. He's 0 for 7. First offering, misses the mark. And downstairs. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Two outs. Aye. And that drops in for a strike. Now all leave it up. Base hit, center field. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Alvarez sprinting after it. Runners on first and third, two away. Swing and a ball popped up. Henderson under it. And that is that. Padres leave a pair, and they're down to nothing. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's Matt Olson. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Swings through that one out front that time. One thing on his mind right there with that swing. He's trying to go deep. That one pushed to the left and foul. And a pitch. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Here's the 0-2. In the dirt. Camposano throws the first in time. 
And Olsen is set down. Oh, that was perfect execution of that curveball. Down and in. He gets it out of the danger zone. And you really can't do it much better than that. It's in the zone the entire way. So you have to swing as a hitter. But then just falls off the table and almost hits you in the back foot. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just kept it simple. Blake Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Run around at first with one gone. Ozzie Albies will hit next. Ziggy, how about this? Ozzy speaks four languages, English, Spanish, Dutch, and Papiamentu. Well, with the way the game's expanding, that can be very helpful, those meetings at the mound. Ozzy Albies, he can uh, translate for everyone. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Back-to-back -to -back singles, back. pretty tough for the no, infielders to do it. anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Here's Guriel. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there's two away. The center fielder, number four. So the batting Dylan. order turns over. This is Dylan Carlson. He led off the bottom of the first with a single and then came in to score. Next pitch has popped up. He's got it. And that is out number three. On to the third inning. And now, Luis Campusano. Luis Campusano, 24 years old. He's playing today in his home state of Georgia. McClanahan, back to work. Out front, rip foul. And now the lefty late on that fastball. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch, perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss it? Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Bogarts, who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. One down, base is empty. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Kicks and fires. The punch out there. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. No, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. So digging in, Jake Cronenworth. First time up was a pop out. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Cronenworth, a former All-Star, batting second in today's lineup, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2015. Left-hand batter waits. He swings and fouls one off. And the 0-2. Struck him out looking. Nothing doing there for the Friars. They trail things here to nothing. Back at Truist Park, bottom of the inning. Now in for the Braves, Gunnar Henderson. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off left side. 
Lugo in his seventh season 33 years old he joined the team as a free agent the pitch and fouled off That one lifted to left. A little bloop single. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. He went up there and got it with no, two strikes. It. I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's no, hands. No. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where you could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Fouled off to the right. Inside gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Check on the runner. Henderson back easily. The pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hitter to right. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Now the tag at third, and they got him. Oh, that was a great throw from right to cut him down, trying to go first to third. And such an exciting play, and it was tough to tell if he tried to push it on his own or if the base coach was waving him around. But with the ball behind you, that's when you have to rely on your coach to have a good feel for the play. And right there, it just didn't work out for him. And now it's Atlanta's cleanup hitter, Austin Riley. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Pitch misses. And that is ball one. Austin Riley, a guy that's turned into one of the young stars in the National League. Chris, he's got big time power. The 1 0. Slice down the right side. He's got power, and he's also been able to develop the glove defensively. Another guy that Ron Washington's helped go to the next level. Now he doesn't have to worry about making mistakes defensively, and he can have better at bats because of it. High in the air, out to right. He's got it, and there's two away. The right fielder, number 13, Ronald Acuna Jr. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. He's 0 for 1. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? In the air, right side. Cruz glides to his left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the... Th Back here in Atlanta, here's the left fielder, Juan Soto. Juan Soto. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Oh, and that is strike two. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. And now one and two. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Puts the squeeze on it, and there's one down. The third baseman, number 13, Manny. Here's Manny Machado, Machado. and he's already singled in this game. Manny Machado, his brother-in-law, is former major leaguer Yonder Alonzo. Both those kids grew up in Miami, and of course, Alonzo, a guy who ended up having a nice major league career. Ah. 
strike two. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. On the ground to short. Henderson over to first in time. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice now, job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets Matt. the defense work behind him with serve. another ground ball. Good execution. Now it's Matt Carpenter. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. In there, and it's 0-1. Now a step off the rubber to reset. Two down, nobody on. Swings through that one. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing plane. That one, one well upstairs. Going to count one and two. Just missed. It's a good take. The wind of the pitch. Bows it back with two strikes. And here it comes. Out towards left center. And makes the grab. And that is that. Padres go down quietly. They're still down. It's two zip. Back here at the ballpark, John Chavi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Matt Olson. And he deals. Swing and a miss as he was out front. These guys have come out ready to swing the bats early in the count and swing it often. If you want to score some runs, have an offensive explosion, that can be a route to doing it. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Now yeah. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. Picked up a base hit to center his first time off. Right side, hard hit. Can't glove it cleanly. On to Bogarts. On to first, save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Well, that was clearly a double play ball, but the bobble unfortunately prevented him from being able to get two. But a good job to stay with it and make sure you got at least one. Albies takes low, second trip to the plate in this one. Bounce to the right side. Throws to first, and Albies is retired. Yuli <laughs> Guriel comes up to hit. He's 0 for 1. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. Next pitch has popped up. And he makes the catch. And that is that. And welcome back. Ready now for the fifth Diego. inning. Stepping in for San Diego, Nelson Cruz. Nelson Cruz. Here comes a pitch. Ball one there. You know, these Padres just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. And it kicks off the bag. And that rolls into the corner. The throw into second. Not in time. That's a leadoff double. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. Caught it out front and ripped it down the line. And as soon as he saw it nope. get through the infield, man, he started making that big turn towards second for the double. 
Next offering is in for a strike. That one's in there. One and two. And now two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Cruz leads off second with nobody out. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. In quickly to short, but now runners at the corners to start the inning. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Grisham, the next to hit, takes low for a ball. And the pitch. That's a little bit low. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Back to the mound. Fires to second for one. Over to first. See. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him he is looking forward to make it up for it in his next at bat two on one out here's the catcher Luis Campusano struck out looking at his first at bat and that's in there for strike one the last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone they'll be pitching for a double play in this spot next offering is downstairs way to lay off that pitch down here's a one one and it's fouled away. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. At the belt and fires. Got him. Breaking ball clips the outside edge. Just locked him up right there for the second out. And that's the bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot. So now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Back to the top of the lineup. It's Xander Bogarts now. It's amazing. We get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup. First pitch, and he just misses. Corners are occupied with two down. That's in for a strike. Center field. Carlson settles underneath it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And the inning is over. Padres leave a pair. They trail it here 2-0. Yeah. Yeah, you... Ready to go for the last half of the go. inning. Here's Whoa, the right. center fielder, Dylan the Carlson. The why to kick the pitch. Good eye right there. You know, these Braves doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. One thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time. That's good discipline right there, and on top of it, they're producing more than a hit per inning. The pitch. Check swing, and he held up. All those numbers mean this offense is really making the defense work by just putting the ball into play. Anything can happen at that point. Started to swing, held up. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that's through there for a strike. Line drive. And that's down a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Now batting. 
a lot of hitters tell about. themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. drive and that should be extra bases Carlson around second headed for third Carlson coming home oh the throw is wild the run scores all the way from first and they're up by three. Oh, here we are third time through the order and this is where we see the OPS jump up manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated here's Jordan Alvarez He's already homered in this game. And first offering is fouled off. Runner at second, nobody out. Alvarez, who's from Cuba, he grew up idolizing a future teammate, Yuli Gurriel, who is 13 years his senior. Pulls it in, one away. Now batting, third baseman, Foster. And now it's going to be Austin Riley. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Henderson around third. He scores, and it's 4 nothing. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. Bob Melvin hands the baseball over. Seth Lugo done for the night. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Out of the bullpen for the Padres, Nick Martinez. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Nick Martinez. Here's Acuna now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And there's the strike. Out front and foul to the left side. Time called. Chance to collect himself down 0-2. Squirts away a little bit. You hear people talk about letting the ball travel so often in terms of a hitting approach, and that's a great example why right there. If he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits, he's way more likely to recognize that it's making a swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Two runs, three hits. Set for the top of the sixth. So digging in now for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And before the pitch, he steps off. Ball Next offering flat. upstairs. 
it's so impressive because these guys have to do so much study and preparation for their pitchers for opposing hitters and really their number one job is to guide that staff through a ball game and so when you also can turn it up offensively and be a force there that is a win-win every manager's dream everything came together for them other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field so that definitely felt good and now it's Juan Soto that one's in there own one runner at first with no outs here the old one is outside and it's a ball and a strike now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here try to close that gap but you know at the very least if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game here's a two one this one chopped on the ground but foul and a pitch right through there got him down on strikes and he knew it frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while you want to be ready to hit the fastball sometimes you can overthink things and I think that was the case right there Machado stands in now and watches strike one pitch Machado tries to hold up appeal to first and he went around according to Clyde Washington that one ripped that's back there and it's gone that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. Now the DH for the Padres, Matt Carpenter. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Kicks and fires. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And that's a double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Next for the Padres, Nelson. Slice to right. That's down. One hops off the wall. Runner from second crosses the plate. And they trail by one. Big time at bat right there. Comes through and they're back within a run. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle. Not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Next pitch is downstairs. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats. And the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over.
The pitch. There's a strike. Now two balls and a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. On the ground. Throw on to Olsen. Awesome play there. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Trent Grisham, the next up for the Padres. Ryan Snicker out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. New pitcher for the Braves, Tyler Matson. A chance at his first save of the year. Alvarez in position. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back at Truist Park. Well, we go bottom six. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, Travis Dardo. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a ball popped up, and it falls. And the leadoff man aboard. No, well, it didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box Double score tomorrow. Line. Totally Second tied up man. with that inside pitch. Oh, Got to it late in deep. The zone, but he got the bat on plane enough to fight it off the other way. So a change being made at first base. Pinch running here, Ellie De La Cruz. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Swinging a foul back, that's out of play. Nobody out, runner at first. Next pitch misses, and that's ball one. Go ahead. Hammer, base hit. De La Cruz, round second on his way to third. De La Cruz, headed for the plate. He'll score easily, and they lead by two. Back-to-back -back base hits. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Now it's Yuli Gurriel. Bounced out to short. And Guriel is out. The center fielder, number four, Dylan Carlson. Dylan Carlson, next up for the Braves. 
Now, the way these two teams have battled in this game, you know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. Ball and he one. dodges that fastball. Martinez, in his fifth season, he features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a cutter, a curve, and he works in a two-seamer. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. That'll fire up the dugout. His first homer of the year, it's 7-3. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Nabil Prismat gets the ball now. He's into the game with the bases empty. And the batter will be the shortstop, Gunnar Henderson. Lifted in the air, out to left. Soto gets under it, drops into the glove, and there are two outs. Up next for Atlanta, no left fielder. Two outs, base is empty. So now to the plate for Atlanta, you're Don Alvarez. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Alvarez, in his fourth year, 25 years old, and he took home the Silver Slugger last year in the American League. And the right hander deals. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. Fouls it off, still one and two. Out towards right center field, and it drops in. And that keeps the inning alive. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Man at first, Austin Riley. Next up for the Braves, one for three. Up the middle. They get the force out with room to spare, and that's the inning. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's now 7-3. This is Braves Baseball on the show south. Now into the game, Adley Rutschman. He takes over behind the plate. Now catch it. Number 37. All set for the start of the inning. And here's the catcher, Luis Campusano. What additional thing on Matzik. He was high school teammates with the professor, Kyle Hendricks. On the ground to third. Fires across oh. the diamond. One up, one down. Fastball groove the right bat. down the middle. Number Usually two. a lot of damage Short done with that pitch. A hard Sandy. grounder, but he wanted Short to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. So the San Diego batting order turns over. And here comes Sander Bogarts. There's a strike. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. 
And now the lefty now wanted one. Clearly he didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. And a pitch. That's to third. Zips it across. Oh. And a couple of quick outs. Good slider inside right there. Yeah, Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over Jake. it. Got the ground ball. Cronenworth. Two outs. Base is empty. Jake Cronenworth now at the plate. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. First offering oh, no. misses badly for ball one. And that's outside. Back to back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. The pitch. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Alvarez heads towards it. Makes the grab on the run. And that'll do it. Padres down in order. Deficit remains at four. It's seven. Set for the last half of the seven. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. And first offering is fouled off. The wind and the pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Reaching for it, makes the catch. Now the first base ah. Here is Matt Olson. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. Popped up. Bogarts hauls it in two away. Here's Adley Rutschman. Now Entered the game on defense. So this is his first trip to the plate in this one. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. That one to first. Cronenworth handles the chance. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Welcome back. Now the youngster Juan Soto. The, the Padres field, in striking distance, one. but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Matzik back to work. Ah. Here's a strike. Next offering is fouled back. And here it comes. And a swing and a miss. And there's one away. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. And first offering is fouled off. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. That hits the dirt, and it's a ball to strike. Next offering is fouled back. And the pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And Machado able to spoil that pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Oh, 
just missed. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. 3-2 now. The pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone. Really making him work out there. And the pitch. Three. And down on strikes. Two out. And next is the designated hitter, Matt Carpenter. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next pitch is popped up. Riley drifts towards it. Makes the grab. That is the inning. Three up, three down for San Diego. They're down four. It's seven to three. So the Padres with a new arm on the mound. Stephen Wilson. Number 36. Stephen Wilson. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. For the break. Put your hands up. The second baseman. Ozzie. Albies. The pitch. Popped in the air. Left side. Machado under it. Makes the catch. And there's one down. The designated hitter. Yuliette Yuli Gurriel next up for the Braves. Out to short. Two up, two down. Got it. The center fielder, number four, Dylan. Digging in is the switch inning oh, outfielder, Dylan Carlson. Rolled slowly to first. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Righty delivers. Jack Swing went around. 0 oh, 2. In the air, left field. And that will end the inning. Back here in Atlanta. Now it's the right fielder, Nelson Cruz. Number 32, Nelson. Chris, how about the career arc for Tyler Matzik, a guy who was a first-round pick of the Rockies in 2009, battled through the yips, and eventually was a huge part of that Braves bullpen that won it all in 2021. Next offering is in for a strike. Yeah, and a big moment for Matzik, striking out Albert Pujols and Mookie Betts after inheriting two runners in scoring position in Game 6 of the 2021 NLCS. Kicks and deals. In the air, center field. Carlson settles underneath it. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's one away. The batter number seven. Second ha Sung Kim getting Ha-Sung ready to Kim. hit. there for strike one. A little out front there as he swings through it. Oh, and two now. Just misses the mark outside the zone. One ball, two strikes. 
And down on strikes he goes. Now two away. Well, he clearly didn't recognize that curveball out of the hand and tried to check the swing, just went around too far, and you're hoping the umpire maybe missed it, and they bail you out. Little chopper rolls foul. And he'll one. They're down to their final strike. Well, their base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never help me. Next one just misses, and that's ball one. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Two outs. And a ground ball to first. Dives, and he can't hang on. But there's no play. That's an infield single. One out away from this game being over, but an infield single keeps them alive. They're still breathing, and maybe this provides that last-minute spark. Luis Campusano, the next up for the Padres. And it skips in the dirt. The lefty to 1 0. And that one oh, off the outside there. edge. Grisham off of first with two away. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Nasty 2 0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Next oh, offering misses, and the count is 3 and 1. Xander Bogarts on deck for the Padres. At the belt and fires. Now that's smack to right center. And that'll do it. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this it just helps to boost the confidence. It makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. 7-3 is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long. Atlanta Braves, 7 bucks.